Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, in this video, we're going to be going through Variant 7. Uh, we're in Chapter 2, and we're doing Quest Number 2. Alright, final quest in the chapter. And if you watched the previous video, we're going in with the same team. Now, I'm right now just looking over the different nodes on the path. I recommend that you do that as well and choose the easy path based on your roster and who you have available. Uh, as for me, I looked at this leftmost path, all right? And I'm looking there and I'm like, okay, that looks like a warlock path. And so I'm looking over there to see who I have to fight. And everyone on there, and look at that, we got a little revive uh, at the end there. Um, but everyone that I saw there, warlock could take. So you want to make sure you bring counters for each of those uh, opponents that you're going to be facing on the path. But this path, Warlock can do every fight. Uh, we're going to start off with Wolverine. Wolverine, there's nothing special about him. Warlock, you just want to uh, build up the uh, infections by parrying if you're using Warlock. Uh, if you don't use Warlock, try to use someone that can heal block in some way uh, or does a lot of damage and can out damage the heal. Two ways to deal with that healing. Either stop it, um, I don't know if you can reverse it, uh, but stop it or out damage it. All right, and so once we get the infections up, we don't have to worry about the uh, uh, regen at all. You can see we're just eating away at him. Uh, I am running suicide, so uh, I like to build up to a special three. Warlock special three does a decent amount of damage, but the big thing about it is the power control. Watch the power drain from my opponent. It is awesome. Look at that. That is a nasty power drain right there. Okay. Uh, once you fire off the special three, you can just go ham. All right. And down goes Warlock. Not very difficult at all. Uh, so, uh, if you've watched the previous ones, you're familiar with some of the global nodes and some of these local nodes that you have to deal with. You've got stack overflow. That is why I have so many techs on the team. Um, for every tech, my, I believe it's my ability accuracy, um, increases. So, uh, I'm trying to remember exactly um, how that works because there's two different tech nodes and one of the nodes um, Basically anyone other than tech, I think that's overclocked or something like that um, Anyone not tech is gonna have their um, Attack reduced by a lot. I think it's like 50% or something like that uh, so you want to do tech on this path that has that node and you want to have a lot of techs on your team uh, and that benefits any tech that has a percentage. Uh, but uh, look over the node again. Uh, I'm not quite sure because uh, I've been doing these back to back and I've been looking at different nodes. And I know, I think in a previous video, I probably got the nodes confused. Um, but definitely take a look uh, and just verify uh, and make sure you build your team accordingly you know just just take a look at those nodes all right anyway um we're just tearing up uh these opponents uh there's nothing really special that i have to do every fight with warlock is the same strategy build up your infections uh so that you can deal with the regen and then just go ham you could fire i could fire off the special two if i wanted to um like i did right here uh i could fire off the special three doesn't matter do it according to your own preference uh, because I'm running suicides that's one of the reasons I don't want to fire off a lot of specials all right so as I was looking at this path I saw this uh, havoc here you want to bring somebody for havoc uh, keep in mind that this chapter you can only bring in tech and skill so uh, since we're doing this path and we want to bring in a tech for this path uh warlock is, is perfect he's the perfect counter 
that armor up that he has there prevents him from having to take any of that plasma damage that Warlock likes to uh, put on you. He is, he is one of the best Havoc counters. So when I saw that, I was like, okay, that's Havoc as well. If you don't have a Havoc, uh, honestly, if I didn't have this five-star Havoc, I would probably bring in the four-star. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, not Havoc, Warlock. If I didn't have this five-star Warlock, I would bring in the fo the four-star Warlock. Man, I can't speak today. Um, anyway, Warlock is really just the best option uh, of the ones that I had. They have to be a hero, and they have to be tech or skill. And I'm trying to think if there's anyone better in the tech class um, that's a hero. Because that's the thing. They have to be a hero. Uh, and to deal with Havoc, you want somebody that gets an armor up or does a lot of power drain. Either one will be a good counter for Warlock. I mean, uh, for Havoc. Uh, boy, I'm just confused. Uh, right now, I'm grinding for Jabari Panther in the arena. And I have gotten about three hours of sleep today, maybe. Uh, so, if you see me just kind of, it's because of that, okay? Anyway, um, pretty straightforward fights. And uh, hopefully, uh, you guys will... Uh, find it helpful and useful now this fight I knew was going to be a little bit longer because He is bleed immune So I don't have that little extra damage um, That the uh, heavy attack would put on him then he goes indestructible and so I'm just like Ugh, I did not want to fight a Long fight, you know hate him Do want to keep the uh, infections up on him though? I had let it drop off a little bit. Uh, so you see here, I'm trying to be a little bit more aggressive. Firing off the special three. Even though he's at two bars of power, it doesn't matter. He will not get a special three off. And if he doesn't fire his special two very quickly, he's not going to get that off either. All right. So you see here. Nope. He got the special one off because I held block. So he didn't fire his special two. And the power drain of that special three nasty um, and there he is indestructible again and I don't really want to wait so I'm hitting into his block so that I can uh, still get those infections up uh, we, we don't want to let them drop off if we can help it there's a little bit of um, extra damage I believe uh, when they are infected all right and there we got the overload uh, arc overload don't have to worry about it and here we go with another special three. I can't remember if this took him out or not. It may have. And if it didn't, it was close. Oh, 1%. Yeah, 1% is not a thing, guys. Yeah, yeah, there's, one, no, no, there's no 1% bug. Yeah. Anyway, we got him down. And uh, wasn't too difficult. Wasn't too difficult at all. Bring the four star. If you can't, bring the five star. Warlock. Perfect. Now, this fight, you got Mephisto and his incineration aura. So I said, you know what? And you can see the stack overflow up there. Um, I said, I'm going to try with Nick Fury and see if I can do it. Okay. Now, Nick Fury doesn't have anything in particular that makes him great for this fight. All right. Now, my problem here is when the aura comes up and I'm in the middle of my combo, I want to finish that combo. And so I take extra damage that I don't need to take because I want to finish the combo. Uh, so you really need to slow play it. There's no time or anything, but I hate long fights. All right. And you're also dealing with this um, arc overload, right? But the more bleeds you have on him, uh, the better because I also have the despair mastery. I don't have it maxed out But the despair mastery if you're unfamiliar with it the more debuffs the 
more healing is reduced. Okay, it's reduced per debuff. So if you have despair, at least one point in it, I always recommend, or max it out if you can. Uh, and you can take fights like this, where they heal periodically. Uh, just keep debuffs on them. Okay, so we're, we're doing okay. You know, we've got the life model decoy still out. But Mephisto is still quite healthy. All right, so I'm like, okay, I knew this was going to be a little bit of a longer fight, but man. Okay, so Arc Overload, and I was trying to put more bleed debuffs on him at the same time, not push him to a special three. And you see there, he did that again. He caught me. Now the real Nick Fury is out. Uh, I always try to finish my combo, and then I'll see the aura, and I'm like, oh, wait, I got to back off. And then he catches me with a special. Happens more often than I like. Um, but you can actually beat Mephisto with even an, a, a, a champion that's not Incinerate Immune by just playing it slow and avoiding all of that Incinerate Aura damage. But you have to be quick and you can't be committed to your combo. You know, maybe hit him one, two, back off. One, two, three, back off. You know, build up to special attacks fire your specials off stuff like that um i didn't do that um just because that is not my style I, I tend to play a little bit more aggressive all right and so here we go and i'm like all right okay we got this we got this all right and he's bleeding he's bleeding good um a strong bleed champion can do it now what happened there do not know. We were doing great. And I went to evade and it didn't. And here's what happens when you try to evade and the computer drops that input. Instead, it just looks like you stop blocking because you did. You took your finger off the block, swiped. Now, if it didn't read your swipe, all it has left is the fact that you're no longer blocking and you get hit. Very annoying, is what it is. And I'm like, all right, well, whatever. Nick Fury could have done it. He didn't do it. And I was kind of salty uh, after this because I lost Nick Fury and I was planning to use Nick Fury on the boss. And I seriously thought about just restarting the path. You know, I was like, man, how, how much do I really want to fight the boss with Nick Fury? on my initial run. And I said, you know what? Whatever. Um, let's just keep going. I want that revive. And we've already gone far enough on the path that I don't feel like doing those fights over again. All right. So now we've got Abomination. Again, Warlock is perfect for it. By the way, Warlock could have done that uh, Mephisto fight very well, very easily um, also. But as you can see here, I'm building up the uh, infections. All right, he's infected. I'm going to do like maybe one or two more parries and then just go in. Okay. I uh, don't have to worry about the poison because uh, Warlock is poison immune. All right. And parry heavy seems to work uh, very well with Warlock. Uh, you'll see a lot of people using that style. Uh, if they can be bled, because Warlock's bleed actually does some legit damage. All right. Uh, and the only reason that I'm not firing off more special twos and things like that is because I run suicides and I'm trying to preserve uh, my health. So the fight goes on just a little bit longer because of that. But at the same time, the suicide speeds up the fight so that it's not going quite as uh, slow as it would without suicides. It's, it's a very interesting uh, comparison how fast a fight will go with suicides but not firing off a lot of specials or without suicides and firing off lots of specials and the difference is actually not as much as you might think um but i just love suicides i'm always in the arena and abomination is down okay <laughs> i just love warlock this is his victory pose them uh, eyebrows so uh no problem fighting this uh, abomination Thank you for that revive. 
And now we're at the final boss. And it is Spider Gwen. Now, Spider Gwen got a rework some time ago. She used to be a meme champion. Now she's actually pretty good. She had her animations changed, so she no longer has a special one that doesn't make contact with you. Um, but as you can see here, these are the nodes that we're going to have to deal with. Now, fighting her is actually pretty straightforward. And the aggressive node is great. Bubble shield, all that stack overflow. There's the one that uh, I was talking about. And I had it wrong. Um, it is not that your abilities get more uh, frequently. I forget what node that is. Um, that might be the hero when you have more heroes on there and that's the global. Um, but that one, the debuffs last longer. So with Warlock, of course, um, that bleed lasts longer and I already have a nice um, maxed out deep wounds. All right. So we're going to go in here first, as you can see, with Guardian. And I have not really used Guardian. He's a great champion. Uh, I just don't use him. Now, all of these unblockables, if you know how to evade her specials, you're fine. Um, her heavy attacks, all that. And you see that I had to dash back pretty quick because she was evading. Now, if I remember correctly with Guardian, you want to build up. You want to fire off your special three. You get these permanent charges. The more of those charges you have, the more damage his special two does. All right? I remember that. Uh, so... That didn't happen in this fight. I built up to the special three, and I was like, yeah, and I forgot. I forgot the node. She went unblockable and caught me. So wasn't paying attention. I was too busy thinking ahead. I'm like, okay, I got the, the permanent charges. So this time I'm like, all right, you know what? I got something for you. You got evades. I got something for you. All right, so back here with Spidey out of retirement. And my plan now, and this is a plan that you guys can follow as well, is to just don't do five hit combos if you can help it. All right. You can see I'll, I'll try to stick to three hit, four hit combos uh, and what have you. See, like right there, I was ready. Okay. Fired off a special two. Look at that damage. All right. Evade that special one. And we're good. You can see I'm, I'm basically hitting one, two, three, backing off. One, two, backing off alternating you know just in case uh the ai wants to give her that random evade right at the opportune moment uh to catch me all right so you can see here we're doing good and she caught me with the unblockable again you think i would have learned to pay attention but i didn't i was too busy fighting too busy watching her not watching um the the buffs uh, that they had on there. So I didn't even know when she went unblockable. I said, okay, that's fine. Now, I could have gone to him with Warlock and just did parry heavy, parry heavy uh, all day long. But I wanted to do something a little bit different. Uh, so Guardian went down. Starkey, he was doing good for a little bit. He went down. Now we've got Hulkbuster. Okay. So Hulkbuster, can he do it? He armor broker. Look at her. Boom. Get her again. Boom. Hit her again. Boom. Yeah. Now, my Hulk Buster uh, is still rank one. He's a rank one uh, six star here. And we finished her off with Hulk Buster. I may take him up as a reward. We'll see. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Uh, take care. And you all have a... Blessed day.